our YouTube, so we are officially here. We're here, my dudes. So today is potentially huge. If you're one, if you're watching this, then something happened. Whether that's the nine remake, the seven rebirth, or something else, we're hoping for the rebirth, of course. I don't know if I'd do a video specifically just about like a tactics remaster remake or whatever, but there was something big. Otherwise, you wouldn't be seeing this. So I was thinking about this last night, kind of early this morning. Obviously, last year we got a nice little teaser for Rebirth, right? And it didn't give us a lot, but we got to see like Zach kind of carrying Cloud to Midgar. And we got to see Cloud and Sephiroth walking somewhere around Nibelheim, whether that's walking to Nibelheim or from Nibelheim to Mount Nebel. One of those, whatever happened. Uh, but we haven't really got to see a lot. We haven't got that official first look, so to speak, at Rebirth. And if you think about it, Remake was revealed back in 2015. So for the last pretty much eight years we've only ever got to see and talk about and discuss really remake part one and today that shit might change after eight years we might finally get to fucking see remake part two we did this last year for the 25th anniversary live stream we're trying to manifest greatness in the room we got the uniqlo ff7 shirt on we got the ff7 guide behind it is the ff7 like poster collection my nephew's got me uh for christmas this year and we've added like uh, Crisis Core Union. I still got a physical copy of Remake. That needs to happen at some point. But that's just still like 40 bucks or something. I'm like, eh, I'm good. But we did this last year and it worked, right? We ended up getting that little teaser trailer for Rebirth. We also got Crisis Core Union revealed and things like that. So we're just got the FF7 flowing through the room. And hopefully something good happens. There's not a whole lot more to add to this as of right now. If we do end up getting a Rebirth trailer today, I don't know entirely what to expect. I do hope that it's a full-blown trailer. So like two and a half, three minutes or more. Um, we got Calm Flashback with the previous one and a little bit of Zack and Cloud, so maybe expect more of that, I would guess. But do they just show, like, beginning of the game stuff? So just Calm Flashback, Nibelheim, things, maybe a little bit of Calm or something. And do they show off a little more of Zack and Cloud, or do they go full-blown and, like, show us the rest of the world and locations and characters? Do we see Vincent? Do we see Sid? I don't know, man. I just don't know what to expect, and that's what's so exciting. Two hours later. Dude. I'm so glad I didn't watch that shit. And I don't want to get on here and just bitch, because it's just another gaming event, and no FF7. Like, holy shit, what are they doing, man? We still have Summer Game Fest. It's it's unfortunate. I'm seeing everybody deflated on social media. Every time about the event in general being bad, which, again, I'm glad I didn't watch it. I mean, there's things I was wanting to see from this event other than Final Fantasy, or specifically FF7. But I'm just seeing everybody talk about how like disappointing the event was. It is just... It doesn't make any sense. Like, I, I know the... The, the thing everybody sticks to is the, you know, they don't want to do FF7 shit for, before 16 releases. And that makes sense to a certain degree. But there's no overlap there and the games are you know, half a year apart, whatever, whatever. I just, I just don't understand. Is this like confirmation of a delay to a certain degree for Rebirth? Because what are we doing? Because if we're not having like a marketing cycle for Rebirth until after 16 drops, man. That's still a month away, right? Like a little under a month away before 16 is actually out. We're going to start marketing in, like, late June or July or later? Like, god damn, dude. Like, what is happening? I don't know. I don't know. It's just... It's just disappointing, man. I was up here earlier. I was excited, and I'm just... I'm just fucking down here. I'm just miserable now. I don't know, man. I guess... I guess I'll upload this. So, I, whatever. Like, I, my plan is was if there was no rebirth, I wasn't going to put anything out today, but... I guess I'll just put my fucking depression out on YouTube. Here's the thing too, man. There's a level of this that's like almost making me kind of resent 16. And that's not fair to 16 or the devs or anything. But it's like this like need to not talk about the game. If that's what's actually happening here, right? They, they can't talk about 7 Rebirth until 16's done or released or whatever. It's just like it's making me not like the game. Like I, I, I want to play it. I'm excited for the game. But it's like I want to see the future as well. I want some fucking Rebirth. I want some FF7. It's like I don't know, man. I'm just, I'm at a loss. My mind's not working. I want to unalive. And again, just looking on social media, there's people that are just like, talking about how fucking sad they are and depressed they are. Like, people are excited for 16, but like, everybody was, as it got closer and closer to this event, everybody was thinking that Rebirth would be here. It just made sense. This is supposed to be setting up the future of the PS5. And I just, that is one of their biggest releases, right? Like, that's going to be one of their biggest exclusives in the future, down the road. 16's, like, in the now. 16's about to come out. Why would you not show this off? Like, I just... I don't get it, dude. I just... It doesn't make any sense. I'm, I'm losing my fucking mind. And honestly, like, putting today's shit aside, like, I feel like this is part of why my uploads have been a lot more staggered over the last, like, half a year or so. It's like, the hype just keeps dwindling. Because we obviously got a trailer for Rebirth last year, which is awesome. And then it's like the months went by, and then it's like half a year, and then it's getting closer to a year now. It's just nothing, nothing for for Rebirth for FF7. It's just 
it's miserable. And it's just like, I have the motivation to make content is just not there because I want to do FF7 shit. Like, that's what this channel's for. And they're just not talking about it. When it as of right now, uh, there's like half, half a year till release, till winter. And we don't have anything. I just want to fucking break something, dude. God damn it. Fuck. <laughs> Whatever, we have Summer Game Fest coming up. Maybe it'll be there. I'm not I'm not hyping shit up anymore. I'm not excited anymore. This is David from now on. This is me in every video. I'm just going to be lackadaisical. I hope I'm using, am I using that word right? I think I am. Like, fuck, dude. Whatever. Social media networks. Subscribe. Bye. I used to care what people thought. But now I care more. I and mean, nobody out here's got it figured out. So therefore, I've lost all hope of a happy ending. Depending on whether or not it's worth it. So insecure, no one's perfect. We spend it with no shame. We blow that. Like old train, we in here. Like low gain or leave it. Like Cobain.